All right, guys, as I was editing the video, I realized that there were a lot of things that I did have to block out. So please forgive me for this. There are a lot of things that have a black square circle around them just because I'm blocking out personal information. But um, excuse me for that. It's not blocking out anything you need to see to know how to do this video. Uh, yeah, so here it goes, guys. All right, hey guys, it's Alex from Everything for iPad here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade your firmware on the iPhone, um, iPod Touch, or iPad. Uh, you're gonna be able to downgrade from any firmware back to any other firmware. Um, I don't know if you wanna like jailbreak or whatever, so it'll help you jailbreak if you wanna jailbreak. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm doing this on my old iPhone 3GS just cause I don't really wanna down downgrade the firmware and restore my iPhone, my iPhone 4 so be aware that it is going to restore. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have the firmware that you want to downgrade to. I know that I want to downgrade um, from 4.2.1 as you can see. I'm on 4.2.1. I want to downgrade to 4.1 so I can jailbreak again. So you're going to go onto this website. The link is in the description and you're going to download uh, the 4.0 software, iOS 4 softwares are down here. All the other software for the iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, they're going to be in this drop down menu. Just pick whichever one you want. Sometimes it doesn't work to download these files on Safari, so you're going to have to use Firefox or Google Chrome. Um, you have no problem with that. Sometimes it doesn't work on Safari, so just be aware of that. So once you have that, I have um, the 4.1 software right here. It's kind of a large file. It's 400 megabytes, but once you do it, you can delete it. Um, once you downgrade, you can delete the file off your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and make sure our SH, SH blobs are backed up. Um, you should always back up your SH, SH blobs before you upgrade your firmware so that you have the ability to downgrade whenever you would like. So I'm going to go into 3GS right here and I am going to, you see here are all the SH, SH blobs that I have saved. So that's, um, it's going to work. So basically we're going to hit start TSS server. You'll notice that it will quit iTunes, fully quit so we don't have the spotlight at the bottom. Now we're going to reopen it. And we're going to go down to our device. And I'm going to hold down Option and click Restore. That'll let you choose the file instead of just the, um, doing it itself. It'll let you choose the file. Normally when you do this, you'll get an error code that says Apple won't allow this restore. And that is where we use Tiny Umbrella. By the way, the Tiny Umbrella link is in the description. So... We're going to choose that. Again, it's option, click restore to do it on a Mac, and shift restore to do it on a PC. Find the file you downloaded for your firmware, and click on it, and click choose. And then it'll verify it. You want to click restore. And basically, I'm just going to cut the camera and come back to it. When something happens, it'll just do a normal restore as it would. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to the camera when something noteworthy happens. All right guys, that took about five minutes to complete. And now I got an error code. The iPhone everything for iPod cannot be restored. An unknown error occurred, 1015. That is perfect. We want that to happen. Don't freak out. Now what we're gonna do is just leave everything as it is and open up Tiny Umbrella. Well, it should be open already, but just bring the window up. And, or hold on, never mind. We're gonna click OK first. Make sure you click OK. And then click OK again. Now it is in recovery mode, and now is what we're going to do, is go into Tiny Umbrella, click on under our recovery devices right here. You'll see your iPhone and then you're going to click exit recovery. It's going to boot it out of recovery right now. 
um, boot it back up to normal. And we do have the 4.1 firmware installed now. It is just booting up. Shouldn't take that long. Maybe a little bit longer than usual because it is the first time booting up on this firmware. But let's just give it a second. It is going to have this little loading bar. Okay, now when you get to this point, it'll ask you if, like, how you want to set up your iPhone. Um, and the backup is too old, is newer. So if you're downgrading, it won't let you choose the backup because it's um, on a newer firmware. So you can either choose a previous backup um, or you can set it up as a new phone. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to uncheck these options because I honestly don't want them. This isn't my main iPhone. Okay, and now that that's done, as you can see, it is now on a 4.1 firmware. So that is how you downgrade your firmware um, when Apple's error message comes up that says like you don't have permission to downgrade because they built it into their firmware so you can't downgrade so yeah that's how to do it guys see you later